So the PS5 Pro just got announced and we got a technical presentation that was hosted by Mark uh, Cerny over on the official PlayStation YouTube channel and the PlayStation itself looks interesting. However, the reception is not really there. As you can see in the actual video here, you got 70,000 likes and 52,000 dislikes and this is over a million uh, 1.6 million views this was three hours ago and I was just gathering my thoughts and really thinking about this now I'm a huge PlayStation fan as you know here on the channel you know I've, I've covered Marvel spider-man 2 I've got the you know Marvel spider-man 2 you know PlayStation 5 I've grown up with the PlayStation uh, console itself but I will be the first one to tell you and everyone else here as well is is these console prices are really starting to you know add up so if you see here the console is going to be available in on November 7th 2024 and you know you've got $699 uh, US 699 pounds which I don't know uh, the price is you know up so high but the other thing about it is, you know, the price is insane, right? But then you've also got the vertical stand sold separately. When it comes to the PS5 Pro, I do like the technical side of things, uh, which I'm going to talk about a bit later on to do with Marvel Spider-Man 2 and everything like that. But we got to kind of talk about the sort of negatives first, the glaring issues that I hope are somewhat rectified, okay? This is just constructive criticism. This isn't hate on PlayStation or anything like that. Okay, so check this out. This was September 15th, 2016, and then November 10th, 2016. The PS4 Pro cost, uh, you know, just an extra like $100 over the base model, right? And, you know, I actually really liked the PS4 Pro. It was a huge game changer for when it came to just gaming back then in general, right? You know, $399, right, PS4 Pro. And now PS5 Pro is $699. That is an increase of at least $300, right? That is a lot. It is a lot, okay? Um, so hopefully maybe some changes could be included or for that price, you know, you could include a vertical stand uh, with this or a disk drive. Just one of those two because the fact that you've got to buy a vertical stand separately and a disk drive means that price will go up even higher so it won't be like $6.99 you may be looking at like $8.99 right something like that $7.99 $8.99 which is a lot it is a lot of money especially for you know gamers and things like that now uh looking at it here of the key features for the ps5 pro you know you've got an upgraded gpu with 67 percent more compute units uh, than the current ps5 console and 28 percent faster memory this enables up to 45 percent fast rendering for gameplay making games run even faster so that's pretty good it's it's obviously you know more powerful which is what you'd expect uh ps5 pro to be or a pro version of the console it's got advanced ray tracing that provides more dynamic reflection and reflection refraction of light and more than double the speed of the current ps5 console so they are also really improving that ray tracing like power so now they're able to run it much easier and way faster and then of course i had driven upscaling with a uh, playstation spectral super resolution or as they call it pssr uh yeah pssr which is a machine learning based technology that provides super sharp image clarity by adding an extraordinary amount of detail so what that means is uh extra performance right it's kind of like dlss and uh fsr which is on pc which allows the game to pretty much uh be less demanding while still remaining like you know having a uh, decent quality or at least like looking really good right so that's cool um but then we also have uh games that are set for ps5 pro enhanced versions which is where marvel spider-man 2 is going to come in at some point soon where i'm going to talk about that so you know you've got alan wake 2 assassin's creed shadows demon souls dragon's dogma 2 final fantasy 7 rebirth grand turismo 7 Hogwarts Legacy, Horizon Forbidden West, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, Crew Motor Fest, uh, The First Descendant, and The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. So these are all going to have PS5 Pro enhanced versions, which means that um, pretty much it'll be enhanced, right? Like for the PS5 Pro, it'll be uh, running easier because... When it came to you know them creating the PS5 Pro, all the develop they can see like all the developers and everything like that, like what settings people choose, and people choose performance more over the fidelity. So they're trying to give you both here, like performance and fidelity, right at the same time. Um, 
So the other thing is, this is a concert by Rock Rider, but imagine if we get a uh, PS5 Pro Marvel Spider-Man 2 console. I, I hope that's not the case, man. I like my PS5 itself. Like, I love that. So hopefully they don't do this as well. But now let's look at the whole Marvel Spider-Man 2 part of this video, which now, you know, this was in the presentation and you can see the fidelity difference here. So if I ramp up the quality to like, I don't know, 4K, it might be a bit easier to see. Uh, but, you know, YouTube compression, right? So you can actually weirdly enough see, and this is kind of funny to look at, with the fidelity mode, even at like 30 FPS or whatever, you know, the game looked gorgeous, but like you can hear finally play Marvel Spider-Man 2 at 60 FPS while it still looks the way it was meant to be because when you play it on performance mode the resolution is lowered and so is the quality and when you play it at fidelity mode you play it at what it was meant to be played at so people have been like taking screenshot of this and being like you know oh man there's no difference but there is because now you know you got extra performance uh i i'm even pretty sure like the lighting looks a bit different at least it's meant to because they've got extra like ray tracing stuff now that's more efficient right but you can see that it's 60 FPS for the PS5 Pro here. And in the fidelity mode, it's 30 FPS. So you're able to actually really play these games now over at a higher uh, frame rate, obviously. But I think that maybe they should have waited a bit longer to show off some maybe new games or something that could really use this. Obviously, like GTA 6, right, would be something that's going to really take advantage of the PS5 Pro when it comes to it. But this is one of those things where you can really see these previous uh, games really starting to shine and being able to be like their full proper uh, selves here. But still, it's it's a steep price. It's a lot of money, right? Like it, $700 is not cheap. So I don't know what PlayStation really can do. They're just going to look at some feedback and things like that. Because like, you know, I'm all for this console, right? But not even I can really just kind of fork over that kind of money you know without thinking twice because this is like pc territory you can build a pc for this price and when it comes to pc gaming it's so accessible you know you've got free online right um you can you get mods so like when marvel spider-man 2 comes to pc you're gonna be able to mod the game uh play with like you know it, there's just so much that you can do right like on pc that isn't like playstation and I haven't even seen this reveal trailer, but how many dislikes does this have? 60, oh man, that's, that's, that's brutal. Well, let's at least marvel at the console here. Let's see what it looks like. So, introducing the next leap, okay? In console gaming, <laughs> all right? I mean, I actually kind of like the new design though. That's a hell of a graphic, right? So it's going to tell you what it has. So spectral super resolution. It's only on select PS5. Wait, 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 what was that? So it's only available on select PS5 games that have been enhanced for PS5 Pro when compared with PS5. PS5 Pro enhanced uh, features will vary by game. So not all games will have this. Okay. So I guess more feature games might get it and then maybe like older games like Marvel Spider-Man 2 will get patches when this releases. So high frame rates for select games again. Enhanced ray tracing again. So when it comes to Marvel Spider-Man 2, it's not like you're going to be playing the same game. It's going to have to be like a special enhanced version of that game that's going to have extra advanced ray tracing differences. But this is very premium stuff you're paying for here, you know. It is it is a decent amount of money, right? So, and then vertical stand sold separately. Which, you know, if we're going to be paying this much, just throw a vertical stand in there, right? Let us be able to stand up our console, right? Let us at least have that. Please, PlayStation, I love you. I know you can make this right. Make some changes here. It is very easy. And yeah, just look at some feedback from all the gamers. And speaking of gamers, what would you like to see PlayStation do with the prices? What, what do you think would be a reasonable price for this console? What would you like to see changed? Let me know in the comments below, man. If you're new to the channel, drop a like and subscribe. Watch another video here. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Peace.